Okay, let's take a look at the fourth question on the practice exam. So it's just a plain old limit question. Um, all right, so these are actually super easy. This is probably the only practice exam question I've ever created where I might actually have to make it harder or something for the test. And the reason that almost all of these are very easy, okay, so I claim that all of them except for B are very easy. So forget about B for a second and let's look at all of these others. Okay, so what do, what do A, C, and D have in common? What they all have in common is that if you just plug in, something comes out, right? So let's just take a look at A here. So it says take the limit as x goes to 0 of this expression. Well, I'm just going to I'm going to plug in 0 and see what happens. Then I get 1 minus cosine 0. Okay, and you may remember that cosine of 0 is 1, and so this is the same thing of as sine of 1 minus 1. Okay, and so this is just sine of 0, and you know that sine of 0 is 0. And even if you don't know that, don't worry about that. I'll tell you that if you want to know it. Okay, um, so I plugged in 0 and something came out. Now, we talked about this thing in class. I guess we went pretty far in, into depth about it, so I don't feel bad about kind of like saying that this is true because of that. Okay, remember we talked a lot about something called the direct substitution principle um, that's in the, the book. And so there are several ways to say what the direct substitution principle is saying. And the easiest way to paraphrase it is to say that if you can plug in, plug in uh, principle. Okay, and so the principle actually says that whenever you have a nice algebraic expression like one of these that you can write down as an equation okay um, and so then you you're talking about something that I was calling a nice function in class really what it is is you have a bunch of you know basic functions and these things are all continuous where they're defined and so these other expressions are they come from these basic things just by addition subtraction multiplication division and com composition of functions, okay. And so each of those uh, e each of those ways to combine these things kind of preserves their niceness. And so these these expressions that you can just write down um, without using these ugly brackets, okay. So whenever you can write something down without using the ugly brackets, it, it's it's continuous where it, it's defined. And so what that means is if it makes sense to just plug a number in then it's defined there and so since these are all nice and and continuous where they're defined then the limit is just the same thing as plugging in so you know that to say what continu what does continuous mean it means that you can solve limits by plugging in right I don't know if I've said too much or too little but the answer to a is zero okay and so for for A, C, and D, they all work like that. So what happens if I plug in 3 here? I get um, 6 plus 0 is 6. Okay. And what happens if I plug in 4 here? So it's creeping up on 4 from the negative side. Why is this, why is this negative sign here? That's kind of scary. Well, they want to make sure that you don't get a negative number under the radical. And so to make sure that x squared is always less than 16 instead of more than 16, you have to creep up on 4 from, uh, from the left. So you have things like 3.9. So 3.9 squared is slightly less than 16. So you get a positive under the radical. That's all the negative is talking about, so don't worry about it. Okay. Now what happens when you plug in 4? You get the square root of 16 minus 16. And so you get the square root of zero is is zero. Okay, so these three a, c, and d, because of the direct substitution principle, uh, which I'm going to write here as can plug in, then plug in. Okay, and so the one time when when this fails is when you have functions that are defined by cases, you know, like this thing is sine if x is one thing 
and it's you know tangent of x is another thing. So those are not nice functions, okay? And the direct substitution principle does not apply to those. But any anything like this, anything kind of ordinary that is just variables and and roots and and trig functions, those are all nice. And so this plugging in thing works. Now, <clears throat> b is kind of a little different, all right? And so the way that b is different is if you plug in the limit 2, then you get 0 over 0. Let's just make sure. So what happens if you plug in 2 here? You get, you get 4 plus 2 minus 6 over 2 minus 2. And yes, that is, that's 0 over 0. OK, but um, we've had a lot of practice doing these two. And so we know what to do. The thing that you do is you look for some kind of algebraic trick. And usually the algebraic trick is factoring, okay? There's some others, like remember the other tricks are common denominator, rationalize the numerator. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take the, the factor that's in common between those two. So let me try to factor it. Let me just copy it. So I've got t squared plus t minus 6 on top, and I have t minus 2 on the bottom, okay? So let me see if I can factor this in my head. So what I need are two numbers that multiply to negative 6 that add to be 1, okay? So that's how you factor a quadratic. And so I know, so what are two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1? Well, those numbers are negative 3 and I'm lying. Sorry, it's positive 3 and negative 2, right? Okay. So I factored that polynomial, and I also changed the variable, even though I wasn't supposed to. And now it's punishing me by making random pen strokes. Okay, so the variable should be t, sorry. And that factors the top. So the top is t plus 3 times t minus 2. And of course we have t minus 2 on the bottom. And it's the same, so we can strike it out. And so this is t plus 3. Okay, all right. So that means that this limit that they gave us is the same thing as the limit as t goes to 2 of t plus 3. And of course, this is just 5. Okay, and so this one is 5. And that's all. Bang, bang, bang. They're all really easy.